Head first, what do we mean by that? Well, the head of the sentence is the subject and verb, the who does statement. And what I'm going to do in this PowerPoint is show you how Richard Lanham, but especially Joseph Williams, understand this as a means of editing or revising sentences. Sentences that are not incorrect, but are not written in the manner grammatically that readers look for. So let's talk about Lanham first. His method is called the paramedic method. The first thing to notice about that is that it's paramedic. It's not the MD method. It's not the PhD method. It's the paramedic method. It's quick and dirty. When you find a sentence out there fibrillating on the sidewalk, no pulse, no heartbeat, you go up and pound on it, get that pulse going, maybe give it CPR. That's what this paramedic method is. It's CPR for sentences. Lannan suggests you should circle prepositions and underline prepositional phrases. That's nice, but it's really just to get you in there working with the sentences. So you also box forms of the verb to be, is, was, etc. And this is the key part. Ask yourself, where's the action? Who does what to whom? He says use an active voice, but more important is not so much active voice as it is an action verb. And you may have to supply a verb if necessary. Then who's doing what to whom? And you put your answers around the verb. For example, here's a sentence. Let's circle this preposition and, prep and underline the phrase. Circle this preposition and underline the phrase box is now as I say this is not editing and it's not something you really need to do unless it helps you get into the sentence but that takes some of the junk out of the verb out of the sentence rather and it leads us with sentence and this need and verb as the key words here so we ask who's doing what to whom and where's the action. Well this whole phrase, and this is like phrase for a verb, equals needs a simple verb. So when we say who does what to whom we get subject, verb, object. The stuff that comes after the verb. In this case the verb needs. Now, since we're probably not writing to Tarzan or whatever, we're going to write it, this sentence needs an active verb. Now, I've got to stop for a minute and explain this in Williams's terms. My claim is that this sentence is better than this sentence. And usually when I ask students how or why that's so, they'll struggle for a minute and say, well, this one is shorter. This is a key point. The fact that it's shorter is only an effect that's not what causes it to be better. What causes it to be better is that up here in the original, the subject and the verb is right here. Sentence is. That's the head of the first sentence. Sentence is. The who does statement. In this case, it's a complement. The who is. The what is statement. How much information value is there in sentence is compared with the revision where the subject is sentence and the verb is need and the head of the sentence is sentence needs. In this sentence the verb provides meaning. There's more information in sentence needs than there is in sentence is. And our key then for why the second sentence is better than the first is that it addresses the normal native English speakers expectation which is that there will, the head of the sentence the who does statement will be clear and it'll be right up at the front of the sentence that's a syntactic fact about English not all languages are head first some are head last some place the head in the center and then pivot around the head but English is strongly head first and that's hardwired into a native English speaker. For our purposes a native English speaker is anyone who's been speaking English at work or in the home for at least uh, five to six years 
you know, if they've been doing it five to seven days a week, that speaking of English will eventually become the same syntactic expectation of a native English speaker who's been using English all of his or her life.